Now this is a significant point in my life, right at this place. And this is where I remember my very, very first day at school. My first day at primary school, which was Lady St. Mary, where it appears to call itself Wareham St. Mary Primary School these days. So I remember my mum saying goodbye to me as we walked up here on our, my first day at school. Pouring of rain, miserable, dark, wet September morning. What about 1976, 77? Um, <laughs> and here we are, 40 years later. Hey? Down there is Wareham Common, where I'll be heading in a moment. Over there is Christmas Close, where doctor's surgery are and uh, elderly person's nursing home, it certainly was. I know my grandmother spent a little time at Christmas Close. And above the wall here, you got Wareham Wreck. And you heard me mention maybe about the fire station and you can just make out the fire training tower. I think just about there if I'm seeing it correctly on the uh, screen. Hello from underneath Wareham Bypass. So anyway, cutting across Wareham Common, as we would sometimes do when I was much smaller and we would go from Wessex Oval down Carey Way up to school direction. Memories here, picking blackberries, still looking at the vegetation there. It still looks amazing for blackberries. One year we were picking blackberries and one of the groups started running and we had to belt hell for leather to run from horses because the person initially running triggered off the horses running so we had to get among the blackberries and, and high up the hill next to the school playing fields to avoid the horses. On this very road above me here it's the closest I've ever been to Her Majesty the Queen. Yes, there was one time when the Queen was going to be coming through and all the local schools were told about it. So we turned up along the bypass to wave to Her Majesty and um, let her know of our sort of gracious pleasure, or whatever the right words are, of waving her. Well, not everybody was, because I remember somebody being silly and running out in front of the motorcade uh, and, and getting beeped at by the police. So we're out to Wessex Oval for some of my earliest creepy memories and some of my earliest Christmas memories as well. Yeah. We're down near where um, Weir Mill used to come down here and play sometimes. Uh, used to be quite a gathering spot in the warmer months and people with inflatable devices coming down, sliding down the Weir there and down to here. What was I just yeah. saying about us coming down to play when we were much younger? Swimming and inflatables. Not allowed these days. <laughs> no way. And if you look down there. <clears throat> but in my earlier days, yes, I went down here on rubber rings and stuff. It suddenly Rubbing. feels like I'm getting really far out into my childhood. Looking out across these fields, the estate over here, Wessex Oval Carey. <laughs> reaching far into my psyche and my origins. It's going to be interesting to see how I feel after this. <laughs> and I'm now on Wessex Oval, which we lived at mid to late 70s. Early memories here. Blake's Seven, Dallas Dynasty. Maybe Dynasty was a bit later. Kenny Everett TV show, Boomtown Rats. There you go, there's some associations for you. Associations for me. Now, it's where some of the creepy stuff in my life first emerged. My eldest brother was meant to be babysitting me once with some of his friends, but instead they did a Ouija board session with a Scrabble board made up and a glass tumbler. And I remember being in the room as they did their seance. Didn't know what on earth was happening, but it terrified the heebie-jeebies out of me. I remember them having to smash the tumbler afterwards outside, and it really rattled me. And as after that, I began getting a mental image of like a, a melted face peering in the dining room window, which was a high up narrow one. Um, really disturbed me. I took about that face. It's kind of a bit like Freddy Krueger, but obviously predating Freddy Krueger by many years. And there's the uh, pressed up against the window. Yeah! Really rattling. 
and also a picture of Dorset where there appears to me in my mind's eye a werewolf. A werewolf. But on this very bend here, I remember my first ride without stabilizers on my bike. Uh, my dad taking my stabilizers off and um, me belting around this very oncoming corner and uh, discovering two-wheeled biking as opposed to two with two smaller ones. Now on the subject of that werewolf, also began to picture in my head a werewolf which would run over the hills beyond the houses here in lightning speed and thrust its face against me and my middle brother's bedroom window which faces this direction. So we're coming around to see it in a moment. And also memories of this property. One night we had a prowler. My dad did night duty with the fire service quite often. And um, one night, so I didn't know anything about it at the time, but one night um, the dog went to go out to the back door to do his duty and his heckles went up. And my mum saw somebody at the bottom of the garden and called the police and then it's all kind of sinister things went on. Yeah, a lot of my early memories just there right behind us and also just good friends with the girl next door Nicola and uh, she sometimes have like a summer tent up in the front garden. One of the places we used to come and play would be out towards some sand pits in that direction Lots of memories of being up the sand pits, despite my parents saying you're not allowed up there, okay? Similar, they used to go over to Northmore Park, across the main road. Well, they meant to go across the Northmore Park, but sorry, Mum and Dad, I did sneak across the Northmore Park sometimes. Now, I always knew this as Stony Lane. I don't know if it's called that now. I can't see any signs on maps or signs here. But you know, it takes you out into the sticks. Fond playing places right down there. Also remember the year we had about six foot of snow and walking around these roads and just big igloos and huge, huge dollops amount of snow but likes of which I have never seen in my life before or since. But this is memory lane indeed. Now across the road here are the shops down Carey when I was much younger. The premier store was Ernie's. I remember my mum working in there. And the shop next door was the hardware store. I remember them having Christmas toy displays and Christmas lights in the window and being absolutely transfixed and just sitting on my bike, peering in the window after dark before cycling off back down to Wessex Oval that way. And uh, sort of having that Christmassy feeling. The spa used to be a VG. Well, I just need to wrap up the little tour around memory lane around Wareham. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed like memory lane rambles, reminiscences of childhood, Wareham, subscribe, okay? Because I will be doing more videos all over the place as well as videos that are completely unrelated to anything that you've just watched in this one. So thanks for your attention and I look forward to your comments. Keep them nice or you have to disagree. Do it in a constructive way and I will disagree constructively with you too. And um, I look forward to your interactions. Ta for now.